Across nearly every continent, hidden beneath logs, leaf litter, and even within human homes, an invisible war rages. Ants, nature's miniature warriors, fight brutal battles for dominance. Some wield deadly stingers, others boast razor-sharp mandibles, and a few are clad in near-impenetrable armor. But among these fierce fighters, one tiny and seemingly unimpressive species has risen to dominate them all, the Argentine ant, Lympithema humile. Small, unremarkable, yet undeniably powerful, this ant has built the largest empire the world has ever seen, waging wars that leave millions dead in its wake. Our story begins in the lush floodplains of the Paraná River in South America, a battleground teeming with ant species. Fire ants, army ants, and many others engage in a never-ending struggle for supremacy. The Argentine ant, merely two to three millimeters in size, should have been an easy target in this hostile environment. Its mandibles are weak, its defense is minimal, and yet it thrives. But not through brute force, its greatest weapon is sheer numbers. Most ant species rely on a single queen to propagate their colonies, but the Argentine ant plays a different game. For every 120 workers, there is one queen, each laying up to 60 eggs per day. This relentless reproduction fuels colonies that swell into the millions and even billions. Argentine ants expand aggressively, sending out teams of queens and workers to establish new settlements, rapidly overwhelming their rivals. However, such rapid expansion comes at a cost. As colonies branch out, genetic mutations accumulate. Over time, new colonies evolve separately from their ancestors, becoming rivals rather than allies. This cycle of cooperation and conflict keeps Argentine ants locked in perpetual warfare, at least in their homeland. But everything changed when humans entered the picture. Unbeknownst to sailors and traders, a few Argentine ant queens had stowed away on ships traveling from South America to Madeira and New Orleans. Suddenly, these ants found themselves in an alien world, one where their deadliest enemies did not exist. Instead of facing formidable foes, they encountered only victims. In this new environment, something remarkable happened. With only a small number of founders, genetic diversity among the invading Argentine ants remained extremely low. The usual rivalries between colonies disappeared. Rather than fighting among themselves, the Argentine ants formed massive cooperative networks called super colonies, an incredibly rare phenomenon in the ant kingdom. These super colonies spread like wildfire. The first stronghold emerged along the U.S. West Coast, becoming the launch pad for a global invasion. Today, Argentine ants have established dominance in Mediterranean climates across six continents, forging the largest cooperative society on Earth. California, Europe, Japan, New Zealand, and Australia all harbor interconnected super colonies, forming a single intercontinental mega colony. In terms of sheer numbers, the Argentine ant empire surpasses even humanity itself. Their conquest, however, has come at a devastating cost to native ecosystems. In California, for instance, Argentine ants have displaced 90% of native ant species, including the towering carpenter ants. Despite their massive size advantage, carpenter ants stand no chance against the relentless tide of Argentine warriors. Using chemical warfare, Argentine ants smear their enemies with toxic secretions, marking them for death. Once a battle begins, the smaller ants swarm their victims in overwhelming numbers, tearing them apart limb by limb. But their destruction extends far beyond rival ants. Argentine ants are ruthless predators, wiping out entire insect populations in their territory. Many native species vanish completely, triggering ripple effects throughout the food chain. Meanwhile, these invaders establish symbiotic relationships with agricultural pests like aphids. By protecting aphids in exchange for their sugary honeydew secretions, Argentine ants enable these sap-sucking insects to flourish, often to the detriment of crops and native plants. As a result, Argentine ants are not only a nightmare for biodiversity, but also a serious agricultural pest. Yet even the greatest empires face threats, not just from outsiders, but from within. 
After years of unchecked expansion, fractures have formed in the Argentine ants' global network. Super colonies have split, with some breaking away to form independent factions. In San Diego County, an ongoing civil war rages between the Lake Hodges super colony and a rival faction. The front lines stretch for kilometers, with an estimated 30 million ants perishing annually in the chaos. And then, from the shadows of the past, a long-lost nemesis has returned. In an ironic twist, another invasive species, the red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta, has emerged as the Argentine ant's greatest adversary. Like the Argentine ants, fire ants originated from South America and were accidentally introduced to the southeastern United States. Unlike their foes, however, fire ants are equipped with venomous stingers and an aggressive, well-coordinated attack strategy. More importantly, they too have developed super colonies. The battles between these two invasive titans are nothing short of apocalyptic. In the southeastern U.S., Argentine ants have suffered crushing defeats at the hands of their fire ant rivals. The larger, heavily armed fire ants have methodically exterminated Argentine ants from vast territories. In Alabama, where the two species first clashed, the Argentine ant supercolony has been almost completely wiped out. Despite these losses, the Argentine ants' reign is far from over. Their global super colony remains an unmatched force, stretching across continents and adapting to new challenges. Even in the face of civil war and fire ant invasions, their numbers continue to grow. This unstoppable network of cooperating colonies is the greatest triumph in their history, and they will not surrender their empire without a fight. From the battlefields of the Paraná River to the suburban streets of California, from the fields of Europe to the jungles of Australia, the Argentine ant marches on. No matter how many fall, more will rise. No matter the enemy, they will fight. And so, the war for supremacy rages on, unseen beneath our feet.